break, uh, listening to, um, well, if you know who this guy is, you know who I'm listening to, particularly, uh, Archangel. Um, shout out to BC, ABC, how you doing? So, I'm almost finished dewiring, but I kind of want to show you how I get through it, um, something big like this um, I stay standing up first of all <coughs> I keep everything loaded in my pocket I only have two things in my pocket my small shears and my wire cutters so usually I'm in the medium or long position and I come in and I will take out the bigger wire first especially the copper I will save some length of smaller wire, but I, I've done so much wiring that, I, you know, at this point, it's just a, it's just a loss for me to do, to do bonsai. I mean, it's just, it's so nerve wracking to try to save wire, especially on these Douglas firs where, you know, you're, you might be ruining the buds. And even as quickly and as carefully as I've worked through this, um, let's see if I show you. So pick this one up. See that? That's one little bud. No. Oh, let's hope that wasn't in any precious position. So, but I want to show you with these. So I come in close, right? And sometimes when I get to the outer or in an open run, like here, I'll push this against my chest, right? And then when I get to these areas, so I still have my, sh my wire cutters like this. When I get to these areas right here, I don't put these down. All I do is drop them, right? Drop them like that. The less time that you put your tools down, the more the more time you're gonna make up, the more ground you're gonna make up. I mean, you spend so long doing it. So this was just under an hour to do this. And you notice that you do have to keep some mind on that tail there. It's, it's best to keep it pointed down as much as possible. And let's say I did have wire on the interior, like right there, it's hard to get to with two fingers. All you do is push that back up against your chest, right? Cut your wire, just drop that back down. And that way, because really, all you need is your two hands. You need a couple, couple fingers on this one, you need like one or two less fingers on this one. And, uh, Particularly with this smaller gauge wire, it's pretty much like a, a groat for a, for these little buds. You know, you're not, you don't want to let go so slow that, you know, you save every bud, um, but you don't want to go too fast where you're just clotheslining them either. So let's see. And, you know, when you're checking, when you're checking for wire, um, particularly because I'm a painter, you, you don't you don't trust these, right? You go in and and you, you you use your hands, right? Use your hands. Feel feel it. You'll feel the wire. Your your hands will lie to you a lot less. And here's an instance where I have copper on the inside. I'll just shove that back up against my chest, cut it, and I need to to feel everything, right? So. As well as wire, this helps free up your hand. You can even use your right hand and move it. Tool still never left. So if you're putting these down, you know, I would imagine, you know, every every time you put them down, you're probably losing 20 seconds, 10 seconds, but you're doing it hundreds of times. It's kind of a, a wasted movement. I'm not, and this is for me. This is for me. I, you, you know, you guys don't have to 
you guys don't have to do this. I'm not saying this is like, you know, a technique that people need to use. This is just for me because I need to get through, I need to get through it. And um, any, any way I can get through it as fast, as clean, and as um, safe for the tree as possible, I'm going to do. So from here, I don't just put them on the table, right? They go, they go right in my front pocket because you never know. And then you just go through, I know you can't see this, you just go through with your hands gently. And there's some, that's loose wire you're hearing. So yeah, it's still loose wire. It doesn't hurt to do, to go through with your hands multiple times. It's all loose wire you're hearing. Especially up here where it's crowded at the crown. Make sure you really use your hands and look. I know I said, don't, you know, don't trust these as much, but I mean, you still got to use them. So I think, I think we're good.